Happy Halloween, truck or treat? I don't want a treat, I want a truck this year. I just picked up this 1991 Toyota pickup X-Cav, five-speed transmission, 3.0, 3VZE V6 motor. And today is a quick walk around. Do a quick walk around and I'll update you guys on the next video when I have more time because I gotta go take the kiddos, go do some trick-or-treating. But I just wanna make this quick video for y'all. Super clean, 3.0. The engine does, the engine runs smooth and all. Let's get that over with. It runs smooth and all, but when it's idling, it is kind of rough. So I think I have to do a tune-up. But I'll give, um, I'll tell you guys more about the backstory of um, how I got this truck in another video. <coughs> Today's video, I just want to show you guys a quick glimpse of this truck. It has a nice front bumper, <coughs> unmodified. We're gonna keep it completely stock some cheap 235 inch tire we're gonna switch out the tires for sure because the tires are already worn out it's cracking already so that's one thing i will be switching out for sure um, two cv axles are completely torn so we'll have to do a front end suspension work <coughs> the front fender <coughs> first time seeing this um lots of crack the paint crack like this stuff right here it looks like a earthquake or something but yeah, beautiful, beautiful truck, man. This is the same color as my 3.493 that I did. It looks kind of gray, but at different angle, different lighting, it is that forest green color, they call it. Frame is pretty decent, no major rust. Um, a lot of rust surface, <coughs> but nothing major. That's all just rust surface. Um, and, you know, I can wash that and Give it a quick rattle can spray paint and give it some protection. The fuel door works. A little bit of rust right here on the top of the bed. And the inside is really clean. Show you guys that in a bit. Man. Oh, so if you guys didn't notice, I did sell my T100. I sold my red T100 yesterday. And that's why I decided to pick this one up. This one was on the Facebook market for a long, long time. So don't get mad at me for picking it up. Um, you guys had the chance. It was on the market for a long time. Nobody wanted to get it. And I went to go check it out and made some magic. One of the running lights is out <coughs> on the driver's side. So we're going to go replace that. This one does have some aftermarket springs. So it looks like they added some more leaf to it. Um, so I think it has like at least a nice two inch lift. I can definitely fit some 33 inch in here. I can definitely fit 33 by 10.5 if I wanted to. Not the 12.5, but the 10.5, I can definitely fit it in here. Look at all that space from the tire to the top of the bed. And same thing as the front, lots of space. But I'm not gonna go that big. I'm just gonna go 31 or 265. Try to keep it low and easy on the gas. Nice Toyota bed. So the first thing we're going to be doing is tune-up. Tune-up, tune-up, tune-up. Basic tune-up. Always do your tune-up first before you do any modification. We're going to do tune-up, suspension, um, change out the, the, the steering components. Remove the sway bar. I don't want the sway bar. Uh, we're going to change the oil, change the air filter, change the spark plug. Might change the spark plug wires as well. Uh, we're going to have to drain the diff oil, <coughs> T-case oil. Um, this one does have the stock 410 gears, so it doesn't have any fun gears, but we're cool with it. 410s is totally cool. We're going to keep it stock, man. Stock rigs are super fun. So check it out, man. I just got done vacuuming it. So when I bought it, it wasn't this clean. It had a lot of... <coughs> it didn't have a lot, but it did have some stuff. So I did a little quick vacuum. Seats are still in really good shape. Bought it from some older folks. And they also installed this, either they did or the pe people before them, um, they had these trailer brake lights, trailer lights or brake system. And I'm going to delete all that. I just got done. <coughs> I don't have time today, but <coughs> I did remove the cruise control because I usually do love my cruise control. But I think for this five speed, um, I, since it's manual, I'm, I decided to just remove the cruise control. So this one does have the tack. All the gauge works and stuff. Temperature gauge, um, oil pressure. RPM, everything works fine. The lights are fine. 
Um, I'm, I'll have to check and see if I have any more shift knob. They put some electrical tape here, so I want to go back to the original one. <coughs> Has a nice radio that works. The heat blows hot. Um, everything's just super amazing. Also, I, I put this here, and I always put my big mirror. I always have those in my vehicle. A very, very clean uh, roof right here. Bed headliner. <coughs> this light bulbs out. <coughs> and then check out the back, man. <coughs> the back is super clean. They did have some kind of wiring system for here for like subs um, with subwoofers and stuff. And you can also see they cut this right here on both sides. They cut this so either for um, subs or something. But it's all good. It's all clean. All carpets clean. Seats are clean. The belts are nice and clean. Cat windows nice. The latches all work together. The back window is good. So really, really happy. I do need a, uh, if I really want to, the center console, the, the latch broke right here. You can see that. So, but this thing's still latching there. Man. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to find another pickup. This one was on Facebook Market for a long time. I want to say three, four weeks. And I had this item saved for like three weeks already. Because I remember seeing this. <coughs> I remember seeing this and the the owner said that on their app that it needs some engine work and uh, they think that it was a misfire or misfire running rich and stuff like that and then um, I don't want to talk about it but I'll talk about that in another video here's this right here this is just a quick video to show it off to you guys the glove box kind of pops out I think I can fix that I have extras of these right here I have two extra glove box, so um, I want to get this fixed right here. I want this tucked in there. Something's probably just poking it out. But everything's super clean, man. Just as clean as my white pickup. The one I have. The last pickup I had was my white pickup. They have some Velcros here. So I removed the Velcro. I'll go ahead and clean these up later when I have more time. Uh, just super, super clean. And it has that smell. If you guys know Toyota pickup, you guys know they all have that nice smell and it's that clean factory smell it still has that factory smell so no smell of smoking no smoking smell no nothing like that there was a little bit of dog hair and stuff but for the most part it wasn't super bad um i'll probably give it another vacuum but it's super clean look at that i like it a little dirty here i'll go ahead and clean that next time yeah i haven't got and i don't want to wash it right now um, it's very cold at nighttime. I don't want to wash it. I don't have a garage, so I don't want to wash it because things are going to freeze up. So we're probably going to just leave it the way it is. Um, find some tires for it. <coughs> change all the fluid. And then do our basic tune-up. There's, there's not really no leaks. The only leaks that it has is just your basic valve cover leaks. But other than that, that's pretty much it. You know, it has your typical Alaska windshield. But, you know, that all that stuff doesn't matter, man. All that stuff is not a deal breaker has the old school grill it doesn't have the toyota logo it has the actual toyota word so that's it right there and they also have some old man emu these are the old man emu <coughs> um shocks right there and they it looks like they still work really good i was gonna change them but i think i'm gonna keep all these um shocks here front and rear the only thing i might change is i'm gonna change the cv the upper and lower ball joints and probably the tie rods but the suspension, the shocks, I'm probably going to leave it. I have an extra one. So I'll go ahead and switch that out. We're going to go ahead and switch these out to LEDs probably. And I might put an LED light bar. Um, it depends. This is a really nice bumper. It's super, super clean, super stock. Um, it's just, I have to drill two holes in it. If I decide to put an LED light bulb. If I don't put an LED light bulb, then I'll just go ahead and skip the LED headlights which is sufficient so let me go ahead and show you guys the engine and then we'll do a quick startup and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video uh, make sure you guys follow the instagram nutty new 444 now i do underscore 404 and you guys can stay up to date so here's the fms 3.0 the radiator is still really nice and new looks pretty new looks like they just changed it um, but oh that's pretty stock the battery's still good from last year 621 I checked the voltage when it was running. Uh, we're getting 14 volts, so that means the alternator and all that stuff is good. That's the original alternator, Toyota. 
This one doesn't have AC, so that's totally good because I usually delete the AC. Uh, the power steering belt is super loose. You can see that. So I have extra, so I'm going to go ahead and swap these out. I'm going to swap all the belts out. I don't know when the timing belt was done, but I think we should be good on that. So we're not going to change the timing belt or anything. Um, right here, we're going to keep it the same. I ordered the EGR delete kit. You guys know me. I love doing the EGR delete. I always delete the EGR on all my vehicles. <coughs> so I got the EGR delete kit on order right away. And we'll go ahead and delete the EGR system, all these vacuum lines, and delete the charcoal canister. I made videos all about that, so if you guys want to look into that, you guys can check those out. We might go ahead and get some ASIN manual hub. It depends. They're like 100 bucks on Amazon. And then these are all the wires for that. Um, <coughs> these are all the wire for that little parking system, brake system. So all that. So these are all the brake system. And I'll go ahead and start deleting that later on. I can. You guys can see I removed the cruise control already. Once we remove the, once we do the EGR delete, we'll delete all this right here. So fun stuff. <coughs> so other than that guys that's a 3.0 i'll go ahead and also delete this too <coughs> this little uh cushion thingy it's just dirty you don't really need it but i'll go ahead and delete that wash the hood and uh yeah we'll go ahead and change all the fluids and do my basic baseline tune up you always got to do your base like basic tune up man basic baseline i call it and then <coughs> typical valve cover leaks nothing crazy but We'll go ahead and change the valve covers, <coughs> change all this fun stuff. Um, probably open up the intake manifold, change all the gasket, clean the throttle body. But let me go ahead and give you guys a start and then you guys can see what it sounds like. And like I say, it does sound kind of rough, but once I drive it, once you drive it, it's super smooth and super powerful. So right there, we're in neutral. Yep. Heat works good. 194,258. I think it does have an exhaust leak. It has some kind of Flowmaster exhaust or something like that, but super rusty. We might go ahead and change that out. Definitely need, need a new exhaust system. So here's the engine. It's actually running smooth now. Huh. You can see it has a little bit of shakiness. But when we went to go look at it, it was really bad. Um, yeah, it was really bad. I'll see that for another video. This is it right here. The engine's hot already. I've been driving it. So yeah, it just needs a full tune-up. But I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tune this baby up keep it for a while and then you guys know the drill i'll probably sell it afterwards so if you guys want to buy it um you guys want dibs man just let me know i'll probably have this it probably won't be ready for another month or maybe two months but i'll keep you guys posted just stay follow follow the ig and you guys will know right away uh, this is the 91 pickup x cab five speed 3.0 catch you guys next time much love happy halloween stay safe see you guys on the next video